Hello and welcome to this video. Are you ready to be blown away by an amazing piece of technology? So in this episode, I'll show you something that may have a huge impact on how to deal with computers. So it's about ChatGPT. You may have heard something about this. This topic is causing a stir online and seems to be really getting the community pumped up. So definitely you will be impressed and I can't wait to share it with you. My name is Thomas and you're watching to my channel Tech4. Before we dive into the details of ChatGPT, I want to give you a sneak preview on what you can expect in this episode. ChatGPT is a state-of-the-art natural language processing model that can hold intelligent conversation with humans and it has much more abilities than you can imagine. That makes it a truly impressive AI. I will demonstrate how ChatGPT works and I give you a first-hand look into all the capabilities it has. Trust me, you won't want to miss it. Let's get familiar with ChatGPT. What you want to see here is the conversation UI that I will use in my demonstration in a brief minute. It looks very clean, very simple, very tidy and that is really important I think for keeping focus on the conversation. On the left hand side you find several options, on the right hand side there's the main view. On the bottom you find the chat text box that we're going to intensively use in our demonstration. And because of the fact that ChatGPT really has such an amount of capabilities, I choose just a few highlights that are answer generation, translation, grammar and context, text summarization, creativity and also my personal favorite development. But before going to that, we are starting with answer generation. Let's take ChatGPT as a usual chatbot. I'm entering a question and expect an answer. Easy, isn't it? Take this question here. What is .NET? You see, this is not a really specific question, it's more of a general nature. For a computer, it would be a really hard job to answer it in a single answer. But here starts ChatGPT's magic. So see the result here. Wow, would you have expected that? As usual, chatbot would now start questioning if this or that and tries this several times until either it found what I was looking for or it or I would just give up. That was good, but a conversation list from context. So let's see if ChatGPT can get the link from the next question to what we had before. So I'm going to use this question here. Nice you mentioned that .NET includes a number of technologies. Could you elaborate a bit more? And this is the answer here. It's really impressive what uh, details the ChatGPT engine is giving regarding to my question. But now I want to give a little bit more sugar to it. Okay, do you have one extra for me? Boah, that is great to see. This answer contains a lot of hints regarding my question from the previous answer. And it's really impressive how ChatGPT is working on this conversation with me. Besides this, I also want to see if I can stress this model here a little bit with my next question. Can you give me some insights on the technology that you mentioned in the answer above as the point with Xamarin in it? I'm really impressed that this uh, ChatGPT model is keeping the conversation up and running. And now I got to a next point that was translation. Good. Besides having a good conversation, ChatGPT is also able to translate to multiple languages. Let me try this request here. Translate, I'd like to have a coffee into German and Japanese. But that is a good answer. Maybe we can stress the system here a little bit more and uh, putting this little, let's say, weird request in here. Can you do it in Klingon? Oh, okay, this is unexpected, but of course I cannot really prove this, but yeah, it seems to be good. Now let's get from translation to grammar and context. Let's see if we can mix up translation and grammar and context together. Asking the following question here. What is floskel in English? And yeah, we'll see. Oh, here we are getting our answer. 
Yeah, Floskel is kind of German word that is specifically saying what this ChatGPT model is uh, bringing as an answer. Now I want to see if grammar is also a thing here. What is the difference between am I right here and I am right here? And the answer is quite good. It's just stating what is the uh, grammar here. It uh, does the differentiation and I'm really glad with that. So let's jump to the next point, summarization. Let's take the question that we had before, what is .NET and get the answer from it. It's nearly the same that we had before. Now we want to see if ChatGPT is able to summarize this a little bit for us. And I take the next question. Okay, but could you give a more brief explanation? And yeah, it seems so that ChatGPT was able to do this for us. Can you shorten it down to a phrase? Yeah, that is convincing, right? Fairly impressive. So, but now I prepared something to see what you can do also with text summarization. So for that reason, I put here a web page where I found an article about four sites. I copy everything over to our ChatGPT chat and asking if ChatGPT is able to summarize this article for me. I'm really curious what ChatGPT is bringing as an answer. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is really impressive. So I've read through the whole article and find that this summarization is a really good fit to what it states. I'm also interested now in what is the main topic of this article. And I now get an answer and it just uh, summarizes everything up and brings it to the say core points of that article that I also can confirm. Yeah, now it's time for creativity. Let me put this question here. Can you make something crazy like combining the drinking coffee with .NET? And I'm really excited about the answer. If you like to read it through, then pause this video at this point. I'll go ahead with the next fancy question here. Can you make a poem from .NET, C Sharp and Java? And also I'm really excited and curious about the answer. Whoa, that is crazy. ChatGPT is able to do poems. I didn't expect that and really it's it's really amazing to see what happened here. Okay, now it's time for my favorite topic that is development. I'm super excited about it. So I'm just going to jump right in with a question that will definitely surprise you. Can you make a 2D game with a running cursor in C Sharp? Wow, and here you can see that ChatGPT is also able to create a tutorial for building a 2D game that is easy to read. Amazing. Now I want to stress it a little bit. Write a console in C Sharp for a little 2D game with a running cursor. And here we go. It seems that ChatGPT has some issues in displaying the answer, but I'm okay with it. That code seems to be quite clean and there's also comments. Looks like ChatGPT can also semantically understand and describe code. Yeah, I am really flashed. So what I am asking myself is, can this run? So let's say, let's do it. I'm pasting it to VS Code, cleaning the copy artifacts and type .NET run. Booyaka, it runs. A little flickering, but it runs. Hmm, now a gazillion ideas are exploding in my head. Damn it. Okay, okay. Now writing code is what developer can, but is ChatGPT also doing tests? Let's put it on a proof. Can you write unit tests for a method that adds numbers? Oh, it seems that ChatGPT understands from the conversation that I would have it for C Sharp. And it makes good description of the tests. 
I am amazed and completely blown away by what we saw from that video. But now it's time to sum up. I really recommend if you want to explore ChatGPT yourself, create your account yourself and play around. ChatGPT is uh, created by OpenAI and it is currently in a beta stadium. It is a large language model that is able to understand and process natural language. And we saw from the video that it is able to perform a variety of tasks including answering text, translating text, summarize long text, create text creatively, and even it can develop code for us. That is pretty amazing, right? I encourage you to put your hands at ChatGPT yourself and see what's in it for you. And who knows, you might be just surprised by the power and versatility. If you are creating a poem, then let me know. Put it down below in the comments and we can create a challenge from it. I would be glad to have it. Yeah. If you learn something new from that video and it enriches your life a little bit more, then it would be nice to also get a notice in the comments below. My name is Thomas and you watched Tech for All. Goodbye.